What's up everybody, so today I'll be showing how to do a firmware update for Poly headsets using the PolyLens software. So the first thing you're gonna do is open up your web browser and type in PolyLens. After you've done so, make sure to click on this hp.com link that says PolyLens device management app. Then what you're gonna wanna do is scroll down and find get the desktop app and then click on either macOS or Windows depending on what operating system you're using. For me it's Windows, so I'm gonna go ahead and click Windows. Now you'll simply wait for the file to install. After it's done installing, click it and let your operating system configure the software. When the download is done, the app will automatically open and ask you to agree to the Poly and user license agreement. Simply tick the box and click proceed. Here, all you need to do is continue as guest because you don't need an account for what we're going to be doing. Now the menu will open and on the left side you will have any Poly device that is connected or that has ever been connected to your device. In this case, I have previously connected a Voyager Focus and its USB dongle, which I have obviously used to connect it because it's a wireless headset. But since they aren't connected anymore, they show as not connected and the text is also great. If you've already connected your headset, it will automatically show up as connected. But if you haven't yet, make sure to connect it and it will show up as soon as you will do so. As an example, I will be connecting a Voyager 4320 series to my computer. Since it's wireless, I will need to put in the USB dongle first and run the update on it. If you have a wired headset, you can simply skip this part. I'll have timestamps on this video, so it will be easy to just skip through it. After you've connected your USB, in this case, it is a BT700, it will show up on the left hand side. If it has a red button next to it with a number, it means that it needs an update, so make sure to click on it. After you've done so, it will direct you to the overview of the dongle and it will ask you to update it. Simply click on update and wait for it to do so. This may take a couple of minutes. Do not remove the app while it is running the software update because by doing so, you will be terminating the update. After the update is done, turn on the Bluetooth on your headset or again, if you have a wired headset, it will connect immediately. After it's connected, it will also show up on the left hand side. Same thing goes for the actual headset. If it has the red button, click on it and then click update. Now we will once again wait for the update. And there we go. The update is complete and your headset is ready to go. If you found this tutorial useful, make sure to like, share and subscribe for more of this kind of content.